Today we're doing something a little bit different. One type of content I've always wanted to make has been Let's Plays. I just personally love to watch them. I've put out a poll on our community chat before, and it sounds like you guys would also like to see me do a Let's Play. So today we're gonna be diving into what is my most anticipated game of the year. It is Paleo. I hope I'm saying that right. If not, put it in the comments down below. And if you do enjoy the video later on, make sure you actually enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, hit the like button so I know that you guys enjoy it and we'll make some more of this content. Don't worry, our normal tutorials and stuff will still be there as well. With that said, let's get into the game. Fair warning, I am also playing this game on stream, so I have one character that I've progressed a little bit with, but this one that we're playing right now is a brand new character. I created a whole other account uh, so that we can experience this together in the Let's Play. So, let's agree. Body type, we are... That one? Continue, and now we choose our face. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust our skin tone. And now, which one looks the most like me? Now this is my one, uh, my one problem with the game is there is no facial hair. And I'm just not okay with that. It, it, it's bearded or bust, okay? I liked it. Okay, let's go to our hair. Uh, now there are some some kind of unique hairstyles. There's some, you know, pretty normal ones, some cool ones. Um, my hair is getting kind of long, and uh, I'm I'm enjoying it. Uh, actually, I'm not. It's at the super annoying stage, but I think I'm gonna put, give him something with long hair. Maybe not quite that one. I think there's one in here that yeah, that's that's kind of a neat look. Uh, let's see. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I don't know. I kind of went with that with the last one. So let's see. Oh, not that. No, I'm just now trying to grow my hair out. So, uh, but normally I would have like an undercut. That is what my go-to. So this like like this would be pretty much it. But you know, that's almost what it is now, and uh, I don't care for it. That's not how I want it. But that's what it's like when I don't have a hat or something on. All right, you know what? We'll just we'll go back with this one. Uh, that is goals is to be able to actually put it up. So all right, that we'll go with that. Uh, so this is kind of cool. You can actually kind of two-tone it, so you can have it like blue on the sides and the back. That's kind of neat. We're just gonna go chocolate. Uh, maybe a lighter chocolate. Nah, nah, let's see. Something like that, add a little texture. I kind of, let's reverse it. We'll do that on top, and then we'll do this one on the sides. Just to, yeah, can't hardly tell. That's all right. Um, eyebrow color, I'm just gonna same. Chocolate, hair dye patterns, I don't know. There's some, oh, this is, uh, okay, so it's changing it. Let's see, let's change this to something drastic. Yeah, okay, so now it's like streaks rather than, all right, I kind of like that, I kind of like that. Um, so the bulk needs to be that color, and that needs to be like that color, because I got some white in my hair, dude. Uh, I'm to that age now where I got the white coming out. All right, let's just go. We'll go back with that one. That's kind of cool looking. All right, face mask. Glasses is all we have at this point. We'll unlock more. Wish we had just like regular glasses, but that's okay. All right, what are we going to wear? I like this vest, the color scheme, or we go with the Dr. Hill's color scheme. By the way, whenever I get in the game, uh, here in a moment, we'll choose our name. Uh, and if you play, you're welcome to add this one. But if you want to add my main account that I'll be playing on stream, that one is just Dr. Heels. Let's go with this one. I like it. Oh, ooh, I like that. The black on red. That looks nice. All right, let's, let's choose some pants. Now, I don't know what this guy did in his past life. That he came out dressed like this. I don't like the red pants though, but I wanted to match, you know. Yeah, don't like that. All right, I had some. What was the first ones I clicked? These was it? This one. So it looks kind of good with the white pants. Ooh, it looks good with the blue. What if I change this to the blue scheme? Yeah, that's it. That's perfect. Let's see. Ooh, that looks kind of good. Keeping the neutrals. All right, we'll go with that one. What's this one? Uh, eyes, makeup. Uh, yeah, no, he's, he's good. He's good. Um, oh, nothing happens. Maybe that's uh, later on. Okay. This is good. I like it. I like it. He doesn't look like me because he doesn't have a beard, but you know what? I will quit complaining about that. 
And so, yes, at this point, you cannot change anything. You won't be able to change your your face, uh, your body type, your skin tone, eye color, none of that. All this is locked in. And in this game, you get one character, um, and you cannot delete that character. So whatever you start with, this is what you're, you're, you're keeping. I am hoping and praying that they add facial hair. That's my only request. Contin confirm. All right, full name. So this is the question. Do we want to go Dr. Hill's branding, or do we want to go with like a uh, RP name, like a roleplay name? So usually I would go with Jace. Faraday. That is usually my RP character, unless I'm doing GTA RP, in which it's Brooks Faraday. Uh, I just love the last name Faraday. Um, but will we do that with him? Yes, we will. We will make this... Let's see. I've done Brooks Faraday. I've done Jace Faraday. Who's who's the next of the Faraday clan? Uh, yes, also, I love westerns, which is probably why I love the name Faraday. Hmm. Think of a cool name. Slay Faraday. There we go. So Slay is actually my name I use whenever Dr. Hills is taken places. It is just Hills backwards. So if you ever need to find me, that's how you do it. And everyone will call me Slay. And so when you get jump in the game, this is your full name. So this is how other people will find you. Um, and then this is what you'll be referred to in the game. So uh, I'm assuming Slay is not taken, spelled this way anyway. I don't know if it's Slay, a slay -a. I don't know. I go with Slay. Let's jump in. Slay Faraday. That's a cool name actually. Time for you to go out into the world. I have three paleons ahead. It's usually doesn't take very long. You can yeah. accomplish. So I'll make you uncomfortable. You can mute or block them by name. Now, I wonder if that is in chat because I've yet to figure out how to do voice chat in the game. Um, I will be honest, I've yet to figure out how to party up in the game. Me and my buddy tried to add each other in party and we were in different worlds and we couldn't figure out how to change worlds unless we partied up at like his house. That worked. Uh, so if you guys have more information about that, leave in the comments down below. I'd love to know. Uh, it's definitely a game I'd like to play together with friends. Especially on stream. This is truly a beautiful game. It really is. I love the art style. Uh, I love the game the game mechanics and stuff themselves. I'm a huge Stardew Valley fan. Um, I love kind of cozy games. You know, it's nice. In you know, a world of shooters and stuff to take a break. Also, it's very unfortunate that I can't have purple skin um, and be like one of the orcs or elves in this. this uh, they look really, really cool. Yes, I just materialized out of nowhere. Looking like an absolute boss. Talking to Gina. Oh my dragon, she says. Did you did you just materialize from nowhere? All right. So it seems like these responses um, uh, kind of dictate your personality. Um, for this, I don't think we're going to lean toward one particular. We're just going to answer how we would answer. We'll see what happens. I'm leaning more um, air type in on stream, but on this one, let's see. Did you just materialize from nowhere? I honestly have no idea. More like from a spiraling pink void. Not sure, but I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm here, aren't I? I think I would definitely go with the Spiraling Pink Void. Oh, oh, tell me about the Void. None of the other humans remember where they came from, so this is kind of a big deal. Other humans? Aww. Yep, you're not the first human I've seen in pa Palea. Just the first I've seen, you know, appear in a giant cocoon of light. That makes Aww. sense. We should slow down. Why don't you take this map and head into town where you can talk to Ashura, the innkeeper? He's been helping others like you get settled in. All right, Ashura. I would help you myself, but I'm working on something here and I'm this close to figuring it out. <laughs> I was so caught off guard, I realized I forgot to introduce myself and explain why I'm here. The name's Gina. I'm an apprentice scholar researching these old ruins. And this here is my research assistant, Hecla. Be sure to ask her if you have any questions. Gotta get back to the grind. I understand that, Gina. Until next time. All right, so here are our tutorial, uh, basic movements, look around with the mouse. Uh, kind of your basic game, right? It is beautiful. I know shift sprints. Yes, and space to jump. And then we can climb up this mossy stuff. It, it does seem like there is uh, some elements of climbing. Um, I haven't 
found a lot of use cases of that yet, but I'm still very early on in the game. Definitely Jurassic Park vibes right there. This is Paley. Truly, I've been following this game for well over a year. Um, I, I, I used to watch a lot of like, you know, what games are coming out, what games are, what, what's happening, what's the news, right? Um, I used to watch a lot of that kind of stuff. And I remember seeing this game uh, previewed on a channel and I'm like, this game looks amazing. It looks so good. And at that time I was really in Stardew Valley um, and playing a lot of Stardew. And so when they, they showed this game, I was like, that game is like perfect, you know? Uh, and so it's here and, and it right now it is it, it today. I believe it actually officially opens in open beta today is the 10th I don't know what day I post it um, But today is the 10th and it is you know officially in open beta Okay But yeah, so I've been really excited about this. I will say I am not the greatest at navigating games in general uh, And Palea is no different. We will talk to Tish though to Try to build up some relationships Hi, welcome to the valley. I'm Tish. I run the furniture store. Sorry, I play a lot of D&D, &D, and so doing the voices and characters just haven't. I, I won't do it anymore. Are you new in town or just passing through? I just moved in. I just materialized from a void. Absolutely. Well, that sounds tough. Tish, you don't know the half of it, honey. When my brother and I first moved in. It took us a little time to adjust. I lied. I did it again. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Should I do voices or no voices? <laughs> we were just coming from one town over, not another plane of existence. Oh. If you need help with any of the locals, don't hesitate to ask. I'm known as a bit of a grump whisperer in these parts. Bye. Okay. Uh, and so, then if you days, chat with them afterwards... Oh, uh, sure. Just take this path straight to the inn. Hmm. This is new. Oh. Oh, she hollered at him. Oh, cool. Okay. Alright, we'll run back down here. And this is the town. It is truly a gorgeous game. Should we talk... All right, we'll continue our mission. We won't, we won't get uh, too sidetracked like I do on stream. <laughs> if you want to watch my ADHD in full swing, come to the stream. All right, sure. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm sure the innkeeper at the Hormuz, Hormuz Horn. Unfortunately, there isn't enough for any room at the inn tonight. Man. This happened once before, man, and now we celebrate Christmas. But we do have some old plots to the northeast where you could build yourself a tent. Okay. Better in a manger. What do you say? You want to take in a great outdoors? Nothing like sleeping under the stars. Not the camping type. I'm just glad I have a place to sleep. Nah, nothing like under the stars. The night sky here is beautiful. I'm sure you'll love it. So let's see. To build a tent, you're going to need to collect some materials. All right, sure. What do I need, buddy? I've got an axe here for you, but you'll have to talk to our resident miner, Hodari, about the pick. Lucky for you, he's, char he's checking out the plots right now. You'll want to take the road up the hill to the northeast. Here, I've marked the spot for you on a map. If you get lost, just come back here and I'll get you sorted out. All right, and I got my by. axe. And so we access our axe by clicking it. Now I have it in my hand. Don't cut down the place. Uh, something that I didn't learn until later on is you can actually put this away by pressing X. Just like that. All right, so let's go meet up with Hodari and get our pick and then go clear our property. Uh, we'll have opportunities to talk to all of these people as we go. It is. It is a beautiful game. And the day-night cycle it isn't too bad, actually. So right now it is uh, 12 o'clock at night. And so I'll be kind of surprised if uh, oh, Hodari will actually be there. But a lot of times the villagers sleep. And so if we click on our map, um, we can see... Oh, I haven't met most of these villagers. That's the problem. Uh, but it'll show us when they're asleep. And this way to home. There we go. So this is an interesting way that they've done it. So every player in the game gets their own home, right? So they get their own house. And the way they've done it is through instances. Your house is in its own instance. But you can go over to that blue sign right there behind me and visit someone else's house at their instance. Uh, you can also help them. So if they're building something, they have to collect material for it. You could go add material to it. So that, that's really cool. We did get to toy around with that last night. Oh, glowing mushroom behind him, seen it. 
Now, he at least has like a five o'clock shadow. Why can't I at least have that? Like, give me some sort of facial hair, man. I feel like I'm four. All right. What you got, buddy? Yeah? Mm. Hmm. It's coming along. A lot of trash left. Oh, uh, hi. Hodari Pavel of Pavel Mining. What can I do you for? I sure sent me for a pickaxe. You can tell me how you got those biceps. Am I in the right place? Hi, I'm Slay. Uh, let's just say Ashura sent me. Right, Ashura sent several of you town news folk my way. I don't know why I gave him the country. I don't know. Uh, the whole reason I'm checking out the soundness of these campsites. Don't you don't need you buried in mud. Well, I appreciate that. In fact, this one's about ready for use if you want it. Just needs a bit of work. I see you got an axe already. Here, take this pick. Always good to have the right tool for the job. Use them both to clear the debris, would you? Mine and Hungry works, so works, so you better take this too. My daughter says I need to eat healthier, but you'll get more use out of it. Anyway. Y'all, I have recorded so much of this video uh, <laughs> with my mic muted. Oh, so dumb. So, so dumb. Okay, well, all that's really taken place, uh, I really was hoping I could do this whole video without having to edit anything. Here we are. Uh, I cleared the land. Uh, Ani immediately showed up. This is Ani right here. She brings the mail. Uh, and yeah, so that's... Now Ani's telling me that uh, they have a present for me. So this is my Ani voice, by the way. You guys would have heard it in all of its glory, but I'm a goober and forgot to unmute the microphone. Oh yeah, almost forgotten all the excitement. I brought a present for you too. A Bug Scout's official belt and a set of smoke bombs too. I'm a member of Kilma's best and only bug catching club. Best and only, you know, that's kind of how I am, you know? I gotta run now, but if you stop by later, I'll give you some tips on how to use them. But I bet you're hungry right now. You should talk to my dad, Badru, to learn how to grow food. And Reth, who works at the inn, can teach you how to cook it. You know, everyone's waiting to meet you. I'll race you out. Okay. Bye. So, Ani left. So this is the property now that you can see it, and it is daytime. We cleared everything. Um, we were given a workbench. And then we used the workbench to craft a storage bin that we put here. Then we pressed our H button uh, to place our tent where we wanted it. And I'm going to place it right here again. I like it all the way in the back. Leave me plenty of room to farm. Um, welcome to the team. We're so happy to welcome you to Palea. We started Singular 86 in order to create new worlds and deepen players' lives, and we hope Palea lives up to that for you. As a new startup studio, we're so excited that you found your way to Palea. It can't live without players like you trying, uh, giving it a chance. If you like what we're trying to create and want to support Palea further, the biggest thing you could possibly do is tell friends and family about Palea. It would mean the world to us. Well, that's what we're doing right now. We're telling friends and family. I consider you guys friends and family. I'm telling you about Paleo. It's an amazing game. Really hope you enjoy exploring what Paleo has to offer. Welcome home. All right. That was nice. I like that. All right. So let's go ahead and store uh, some of our stuff in here. I don't think I have anything to sell just yet. So right click stores. Uh, butter. Yeah, okay. I'll sell the butter. Uh, and soon I'll be able to cook that. So, let's put the butter in here. We'll keep this stuff that I'll have to keep. I'll keep it over there in my inventory. And we'll take a look at our home. First home. We'll press K to take a, pel a selfie. Zoom it out. There we go, guys. That's our that's our first home. Oh, got the glasses clear. Let's see. There we go. You look over here at us, Slay. No. Okay. Cool. You just stand there. Look at look into nothingness. All right. There we go, guys. All right. 
Well, that's going to do it on our first episode of Paleo. After this, we will leave our housing plot and we will dive into all the fun that Paleo has to offer. And there is a ton. I know after we do the, after we leave here, we're going to be meeting all the townspeople and see what all they have for us. So if you want to see that episode, make sure you sub to the channel. Uh, and I'll try to upload these weekly alongside our normal tutorials. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.